Yes, on the news at three, I'm Tyler Mannion. The murder trial of Leilani Simon, the Chatham County mother accused of killing her 20 month old son, Quinton, continues today with several witnesses from the Chatham County Police Department taking to the stand. Our Shay Schrader has been inside that courtroom all day long. She joins us now live. Shay, what have we learned today? Yes, Tyler, the prosecution is very much still laying out their case and calling witnesses, but the defense is subtly starting to make their case through cross examination. And we know that the crux of their defense has been the lack of physical evidence in the case, and that has absolutely been coming up in cross examination. And it also seems that the defense is very subtly putting uh, the investigation by the Chatham County Police Department and what happened during that investigation under a microscope. Now, Philip Schenker, who's with uh, the uh, forensics unit at the Chatham County Police Department testified today. He was on scene uh, when Quinton was first reported missing. He took uh, between 400 and 500 photographs of the outside and the inside of the Simon home um, that day. Now, in those almost 500 photographs, there were few things of note. One exception being what Schenker described as vomit in Quentin's pack and play where he slept. Now, a point of contention with the defense was alcohol bottles that were found in Simon's car. They questioned why those, as well as a potential drop of blood in the driver's seat, were not logged into evidence. Did you ever find any uh, feces or blood or anything like that in it? Uh, we did find a spot that reacted on the driver's side seat, but that was it. And what was that? Uh, appeared to be blood. Um, we just blue started it and it fluoresced. And uh, it was just a little spot on the driver's seat. Okay. Did you send, seize that or send it for further testing? No, sir. You didn't? No, sir. Okay. And again, just curious, why not? I didn't believe at the time it was pertinent. Now, Prosecutor Tim Dean did follow up uh, on that line of questioning, and Schenker clarified that the size of the drop of blood in question was uh, just a little bit bigger than the tip of a pin, and that the test they did to identify that spot of blood was not conclusive, meaning that it didn't 100% uh, verify that it was indeed a drop of blood. Now, shortly after, Detective Marion Lemons took the stand. She was a detective on the case to talk about her interviews with Simon, which included the very beginnings of uh, what the prosecution is calling a concoction of stories that Simon made up to uh, explain her whereabouts the night of October 4th when Quentin went missing into the morning of October 5th. Now we're going to have more on that, uh, plus what's happened the rest of the day in the proceedings coming up on the news. So stick with us on air and online for those latest updates. Live outside the Chatham County Courthouse, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. Shay, thank you.